So far in 2019, whenever I've done a driver video, one name keeps cropping up. I guess I better give the people what they want. <laughs> let's do it. That was tight. And let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel and this is your first time watching my content, first of all, welcome to the channel. And second of all, make sure you do consider hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already. Today, we have the Cobra F9 driver, the most wanted driver of 2019. And I'm putting the movable weight system in the Cobra F9 to the test. How much difference does it make moving the 14 gram weight and the two gram weight to the front or the back, creating a high or a low spin? One aspect of the Cobra F9 which doesn't need much coverage, boxing glove. Now, I have already reviewed the Cobra F9 driver this year, but I now have it in specs, which are pretty much perfect for me. I have it in the Hazardous Smoke 6.0 shaft. I have it set on nine degrees. And to start with, we're gonna have the weight settings at the back. I'm gonna hit you a bunch of shots. Then I'm gonna move them forwards and we'll see just how much of a difference it makes. I've done this test with a lot of drivers since I've been reviewing clubs and I've never seen a huge difference. I've done it with both the TaylorMade M3 and M5. Again, didn't see a huge difference. Will the Cobra be different? As always guys, hit those comments below. Will you consider using the Cobra F9 this year? And if you are considering using it, is the price point a huge factor? Remember, you save about 100 pounds if you get this, as opposed to one of the market leader drivers. Not that this isn't a market leading driver because everybody wants one of these this year. This is why I haven't done a what's in the bag 2K19 yet. 2K19 means 2019, it's like what the kids say. I think. So what is it everyone loves so much about the Cobra F9? in 2019. Is it purely the price? Is it the bold, vibrant yellow paintwork or the white paintwork, depending which one you go for? Oh, or is it that sound? Oh. Because it is pretty spectacular how I could have done a bunker video this year, I could have done a putting tips video, I could have done a video on snakes and ladders, and people's answer would have been, yeah, but you'd have got to the end quicker if you used the Cobra F9. Tall validation with this driver. We have had a couple of pretty high profile wins on both the European and PGA Tours. Bryson DeChambeau winning the Desert Classic and obviously Ricky Fowler winning the Waste Management. And that drive. That drive Ricky Fowler hit on, was it the 17th in the final round? Oy! Oh my gosh. Video over, nothing's gonna beat that. Let's go two more, then I'm going to move the weight setting forward. It's going to be less forgiving, but it is going to be low spinning. Now you see that last drive we've just hit there is rather typical of what I've been finding with this Cobra F9. It was a nice swing, the club edge speed was good, the ball speed was good. I don't know what that was with my tongue then, but the, the spin rate was just a... Ugh. Just a little bit high. If only this driver came with a movable weight system where I could lower the spin rate. Let's do it. And I should probably also say, it does come with its own key. I'm just the most unorganized person ever. Let's see how this does in the low spin setting. This could be rather special. Now immediately here, I'm not expecting this to feel or sound any different. It might feel a smidge different if I don't find the center, which will probably happen. I have 
have to say, driver aside, I'm a huge fan of this Project X smoke hazardous shaft. I think it's absolutely fantastic without sounding too much like Gary Barlow. Absolutely fantastic. Oh. All I'm looking for is that spin rate to drop by about 200, maybe a little bit more. So I'm already noticing quite a big difference in dispersion. Hmm. Comment below guys, what would you like to see me test this Cobra F9 against? I have got this one to test now, so I can put it up against pretty much anything on the market. Last swing of the day, let's try and send one. Everyone, that is 10 shots hit with the most with the most talked about driver of 2019, the Cobra F9 with its weight setting forward and weight setting back. What is the difference? Let's find out and let's do it now. So initially I'd like to look at dispersion. This is what I've just hit with the weight setting forward, so the low spin, lower forgiving, and that is with the weight setting back. So Nice high draw, that would be my standard shape. Uh, it's just a bit all over the place, isn't it? Obviously this isn't just down to the weight setting, this is down to the swings that I put on them. But you've got to say, that is a huge difference, isn't it? So, let's go numbers with the weight setting back initially. As you can see, numbers which I'm fairly familiar with, to be fair. Average distance, 275. Average spin, 2.685, which isn't bad to say that weight setting is back. So that's the higher spin option. That's not bad at all. Club head speed, 108, and ball speed, 160, which is pretty darn big for me. What about when we move that weight forwards? A little bit of a slow start with the weight setting forwards, but then again, it picks up into the 270s. Not a couple of great shots there, but that last one just felt insane on the membrane. What? Average distance, 271. So if we do compare that with the weight back, tiny bit behind. There's not a lot in it to be fair. Spin rate, now we would expect the spin rate to be a lot lower, wouldn't we? So the spin rate with the weight back, so the higher spin was, let me just remind you all, 2685. We move the weight setting forward, and actually the spin went up by 200 for me. Now it was always gonna be difficult to get that spin lower than 2.6. Because for me, 2.685 is a pretty playable number. It's pretty good. Ideally, it would be a little bit lower, but for me personally, when I tested this club, moving that weight setting forward to lower the CG, to lower the spin, didn't work. In honesty, it probably didn't do that much. That higher spin rate won't be down to the driver. It will obviously be down to my swings, but this is the beauty of human testing. Do not take people's word that moving a weight forward in a driver will lower the CG for you because generally it all comes down to you. It all comes down to how you're going to hit it. That test came down to me, came down to how I was hitting it. The big difference that I noticed with the weight setting back or forward was actually in forgiveness. For me, the weight setting back suited me a lot more. It was a lot more forgiving. I seem to have that nice draw most of the time. As soon as I moved the weight setting forwards, it didn't lower the spin. It got the spin higher, but I, but no doubt off center hits weren't as forgiving and the ball flights deviated quite a lot. So there you have it guys. I've given the people what you want or what I think that you want. How much difference is there with the weight setting forward as opposed to the weight setting back in the 2019 most talked about driver, the Cobra F9? The answer, there's a bit of a difference, but not how you would expect or not for me anyway. If you're thinking about getting one of these drivers, 
go and get yourself fitter, go and try it for yourself, go and try the different weight settings. Obviously I could change the loft and that would again alter spin rates, launch angles, distances and all the rest. I haven't fitted myself into this driver, I've primarily done this test for you guys to see what the differences were in my game. Can I see myself putting the Cobra F9 in the bag? It'd be a popular choice, wouldn't it? Guys, you're gonna have to wait and see. I'm gonna do a massive driver video. I did a huge driver video in Spain where I hit one shot. Do you want to see me do the same test, including the Cobra? Everybody commented on that video. Where's the Cobra? 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 You get my drift. Guys, I've been James Robinson. I'm here at Huddersfield Golf Club. If you've enjoyed that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you put the thumbs up. Smash those comments below. What do you want to see me test this bad boy against? For the price that this bad boy is running out at, I think it is an absolute steal this year. And I can definitely see it being in a lot of your guys' bags and beating a lot of quite expensive drivers that are on the market today. Guys, see you soon.